Sunny. Um, there was tension. Um, there was we were on the brink um, of of a war again. Um, but also at that time, there needed to be a decision on the date for 1994 elections. Certainly, DJ X. Um, at that time, this the, the, the then uh, national uh, president for the African uh, National Congress. Uh, uh, Nelson Mandela came out with a clear position to ease the tensions by announcing the 27th of April as the day for voting for the first time uh, in the South African uh, fraternity. So it was very important that um, in this day we begin to remember the tensions that existed and uh, that statement for the date to be announced became so important and uh, very significant in the history. Hence, this month is known as Freedom um, Month in South mm. Africa. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And, and at that time, Sarah, I mean, just from your own reflection, quickly, um, did you did, did you guys anticipate that um, there'll be a smoother transition? Did you anticipate that we would be able, as a country, to get over some of the aspects of what was happening at the time? I think when the 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 the, 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 the I mean Nelson Mandela announced this date, um, there was a lot of um, you know uh, calmness in the nation, and uh, as activists uh, living with hope and faith, we believed that uh, that was an important statement announcement uh, towards a new era where we will have a democracy in South Africa that uh, is living according to the principles that uh, many were fighting for, uh, such as equality and non-discrimination. So we, we actually hoped and, and, and believed that this will be a turnaround in the current state of political affairs at that particular time. All right, let's come back to the Freedom Charter, but also looking at the role women played. Um, I know also that you, you also have great um, um, affirmations to share around this um, aspect of things? Quite often it's forgotten that women played a very important role. After, 1990, after 1948, when the Nationalist Party government took over, it introduces very repressive laws. And one of them was around um, m m men carrying a different uh, you know, sort of documents. And uh, at some point, they, they passed um, what is called a Coordination of Documents Act, which put together all the documents which, uh, you know, people, black people in particular, had to carry and, uh, and, 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 and just uh, I, I had to carry one document called the reference book. Mm. Um, and, and, and women were very outraged because the, uh, it, it also limited freedom of movement. For example, uh, it, it was only women and families uh, that are, you know, related to the African men were allowed to have permanent residence in urban areas, I mean, in, 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 in urban areas or sort of townships. And that those that do not have those documents, they were supposed not to be seen in the vicinity uh, after 72 hours. So it was very important. And that moment, uh, women really protested because they felt that these, these uh, acts, I mean, laws were very repressive and limiting on the core uh, freedoms, which is freedom of movement. Mm. So we're seeing women such as, um, you know, Amelia Kachalia, um, uh, Betam Kize coming forward uh, to, to organize and form what is called the Federation for South African uh, Women, which was uh, launched in uh, 1954. Um, also under a president of a, of a woman. And uh, in fact, Frances Bart is one of the women that um, uh, uh, also r was part of the, of the writers, of the authors for the Freedom Charter. So what had happened in the launch of the Federation for South African Women, there were, there were submissions that uh, the women made, you know, such as, for example, access to health care, uh, for, 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 for all children and women um, and, 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 and things such as um, uh, being allowed to marry, you know, any person of their choice, things such as uh, housing, things such as security, which were rights which they didn't have. And they put forward, and in fact, those 
uh, pro, uh, submissions were later incorporated in the Freedom Charter in 1955. Do you feel that though um, the, 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 the struggle or the role women played um, is taken for granted still within the Republic? Do you feel that women are still not given the platform or the recognition that they so truly deserve? We still have a long way to go. I mean, uh, we, we, we need women to be more visible and not only be used as a face uh, to, to tick the box.